Hello everybody and welcome to the back nine of Lumbi Parken Open, the sixth stop of the Swedish Disco Pro Tour, sponsored by MVP Discs. Um, it's gonna be a nice round here on the back nine. Thank you to our Patreon supporters as well. Uh, wouldn't be able to do it without you. And uh, yeah, my name is Fritjof Fagerian. I'm here with my co-commentator, <laughs> Derek Skull. How you doing, buddy? Shana, shana. Thank you very much. And uh, it's been a pleasure commentating with you. I really, uh, I really think that this season has has shown a lot of great highlights here as we yes. near the end. This yes. is the last official regular season event for the Swedish Pro Tour. As we take a look at our card halfway through, yeah. Elias here with the lead, but not by a lot given yeah, up that, that double bogey there on the front nine exactly yeah and you won uh, also kind of a, a strong start here with a mi minus four on the front nine uh, as the back nine is very scorable he's going to be able to um, have a chance to pick up a hot round starting off with hole number 10 86 meters straight par three here with some tre trees to miss at the end uh, and uh, OB lining the right side all the way up and pass the basket and this is ob or this is looking yeah okay, that is well, ob oh that is ob yeah it, it's really looking like ob yeah i think it's the the right side there you see the stakes it goes mm. all the way up and past the basket and you won this is also leaking a really nice set there A little low from Denka. Mm. Oh, look at that roll. Oh, wow. <laughs> Friendly little roll. Nice. He's going to have a putt. Kratos here. Would Elias. you say the, the most common line is that left side? Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, you can't. Oh, he didn't like that. Oh, he got a kick. I see late kick. Yeah, you can also go on the right side, but it's a lot of trees in the... Ooh, wow. Close. Yeah, there's oh, a lot of... Yeah, honest bid. Yeah, a lot of small branches in the way. So, kind of scary with the OB as well. Oh! Oh, no way! Oh, no, sit don't down, worry. please! Okay. Oh, great bid. Really close. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Don't do okay. it. I think it's going to be fine. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh. I guess he uh, is. He's in. He's safe? What? It looks. No it, way. It would have. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because I can see the, the OB stakes there only right, by, to the left. Only by like an inch, probably. <laughs> yeah, geez. Maybe not even. So an opportunity here. To pick up a stroke. Yeah, basically pin high. And it nice. sticks. All right. Nice. Super good putt. Nice birdie there. Getting a turkey. Closing the gap even more. Yeah. Think a little obstructed, but should be no problem. Just as you expect. Yeah, I wonder if he feels the pressure of everybody expecting him to make <laughs> everything, true. you know? I mean, he, he did set the expectation himself, so... It's I true. I, I, only, I, I, I'd only feel so bad if that's the case, because yeah, he, he did it to himself by being yeah, that good. But, <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, at a certain point, like, he's so good, I don't think he cares at all. I think uh, it's just unfazed by it. Yeah. But... Yeah, hole 11 here, 110 meter par three. Uh, you gotta get over that stone kind of wall, uh, boulder wall, and then go to the right and down to the basket. Wow. And, uh, yeah, a little bit inside, but works out. Johan is throwing a, a flippy putter here. Oh, just, no, yeah, kind of barely nicks the bottom of that tree, but he's going to have a putt around 10 meters. Maybe a, maybe a little work to do with the angle from there. Yeah. 
Then kill a little firebird. Also putting. Yeah, angle, really difficult. The angle here is is something else. Like yeah, it's a nice angle, but it's really difficult to park just because of those like late trees. Yeah. Yeah, and it's kind of hard to see the disc like coming from the T area as well, just because of the shape, I guess. Yeah. So Elias up first. Nice. What? He's so Making on with the putters. Sure. Yeah, really. Making sure to commit. So thank you from kind of a similar place here. Oh, well, going with the jumper. He had some low ceiling. Nice. Really well executed. Oh, uh, yeah. Johan has got a kind of tight gap here between these two trees, it looked like. Oh. That's kind of a uncharacteristic miss there. Airballing, good little stop on the on the I stone it, though. But. I think it was just that he was too afraid to push it to the right side a little bit more because that tree I think was a lot closer than it looked from that T angle. Yeah, but really great putt from Yalmar. Four in a row now, starting to pick up some heat. Next hole up is 12, 254 meter par four. You wanna get through the gap there off the tee and land around here. If you wanna push a big drive, the landing spot is right there. Second shot is landing here for, for a layup and uh, having a clean shot into the green. Not really, much, well. uh, not really much play for the early ground play with that rock in the way. Yeah, you're really gonna Wow, gonna pure it. that for the most part. Yeah, but that's going to be in a really common spot. He's just going to go go over and push a little bit left, get an approach. Oh. This is inside. Oof. But see, even though there's another short par 5, so even though he's right there, he can still make a play for the birdie if he gets a big shot off. Yeah, especially yeah. getting lucky enough to kind of kick right in the middle. Yeah. He has options. I like this. Nice and smooth. Should check up. Uh, not quite. Yeah, he's gonna have some uh, some trees in little, the way there, but a little more flippy than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Wow. Really leaning into that Anheuser, and yeah, that works out. Works works out perfect. Oh, oh, that looks. That's pushed over that's whoa oh, flirting with the ob wow what a shot it looked like he slipped and like just forced it over but yeah. accidentally but it was totally planned this perfect position here oh that's unfortunate there you want going spike that's in the sweet spot yeah, really good too, given not really much room to work with for his footing. No run up. High Anheuser play here with the harp forehand. Whoa. Ooh, close <laughs> close to the OB there, but yeah, he's gonna be safe. Very short approach from, from those trees. Thank you with a flippy firebird here. Sid? Yeah, he yeah he knew that he didn't really like that one too much. Yeah, so long bid, but still long bid for for the birdie. Even though he hit the first first tree in the gap there from, from the drive, that's really impressive. Elias, this looks overturned. Yeah. So I guess there's something to kind of be said about how if you don't if you don't lock in on your drive and you have a misstep and still have a birdie look, should that really be a par five then? Yeah, I think I think you can make this into a really good par four instead. It'd be a very challenging par four, and I think yeah. you know, that's kind of the point of this game, oh, right? Oh, wow, really close to throwing it in there. Great shot with the slammer. Uh, 
That was an honest bid, too. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Let's see if think I can convert. Get A little jump out. putter. Wow. You don't see him jump putt too often. Well, we've usually seen just it like kind of the back nine. Yeah, he usually <laughs> just kind of steps it. I don't know. He's just he's just feeling the jumper today, I guess. Another nice birdie there for Yalmar. We can get a five in a row. So he started out with seven pars and then twelve holes into the round is five down. <laughs> it's just. Uh, I guess it, I, I was going to say the ups and downs, but it was really it's just up now. Yeah. Really, I wouldn't say it never was. It never really was down. Some unfortunate spit outs that should have been birdies. Yes, really. Yeah, really. He should be minus seven right now without the spit outs. Look at these. <laughs> this is my stamp. The entropy. It's a very stable, controllable disc. Very good for short game. Very good for forehand up shots. Very good for backhand up shots. You can check out my new Team Series disc on the MVP Pro Shop. Moving on to hole 13, the island hole, double island hole, 130 meters, par 3, into the wind here, about 117 meter to clear and be safe on the second island. Yalmar going overstable enforcer here, Heiser. And it's skipping, but it's gonna be it's gonna be safe, but in a really tricky spot to get up and down there on the left side. Thank God, this is more the line you're looking for. A lot more wow, that's hanging great. it out. Yeah, let it swing in. In the circle. Yuan almost getting the flip up. Yeah, I liked the height a lot. But yeah, still putting, safe. That's high. Wow. Does it make it there? Did it? Yeah, the distance was, that was wow. pretty good. That's a huge hyzer. Nice shot into the headwind as well. That high without getting it to stall. It looks like Yelmar has a look here. Yeah. A little too much in the way, and that's going to end his birdie streak, unfortunately. Oh, whoa. Hmm. You can see he got like a little bit of wobble and the wind just kept it straight. Mm. Great birdie from uh, Denka there. Getting a that turkey. So effortless too. Yeah. Just tapping it in from everywhere. <laughs> so so this is, Elias, yeah. yeah, big big putt here. Needs to Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Barely gets it to drop. I mean, we only had we only had a one-stroke difference between the two. Just getting close. He definitely needs to put his foot on the gas a little bit more and make more separation between him and Yalmar. Yeah. Really needed to capitalize on the end of Yalmar's birdie streak. Hole 14 now, 204 meters with Obi on the right early and Obi left side. Um, so just throw it as hard as you can and don't throw it on B on, uh, left on the upshot, basically. Think I is flexing something overstable out to the left. Nice. Yeah. Not a lot of danger on this drive. Just really lean into this. Oh, I didn't quite get the turn on that, but that's still going to be way down the fairway. Mm. 
Yalmar turning over a uh, rive here. Whoa. Wow. Hunting down, the, hunting down Michael <laughs> with the catch cam, too. Really great drive. Let's see if you one can keep up with that. Oh. With the guys, just a little bit low. Yeah, I didn't love that, but, you know, still open. We run 100 meters left. It's a flippy thing. Just a little long, but putting. Sit? No way it skipped that much. That looked like a putter. And that it didn't it, look like it, a driver. And it landed like flat on the wood chip. Yeah, and then just flew off it. Whoa. Sit. Whoa. Little interesting ground play here on the 14th. Yeah. I can understand Elias roll because it was like super hard, but or high, but yeah, see, uh, Yalmar got the nice, nice rotation on the disc, the right rotation. Oh, sit. Uh, it is kind of par luck though for you one. Yeah, there is kind of a little ridge, so you could get unlucky and kind of roll OB off a cage hit here. Nice birdie there. This is one you really don't want to miss. Ooh. Oh no. It's supposed to be soon. Yeah. Ooh, that was close. <sighs> yeah, there must be a lot of. Well, you can see the trees moving uh -huh. in the background. There's a stiff headwind, it looks like, on these putts. But yeah. Very unfortunate bogey there from, from Dennis. <laughs> Moving on to hole 15. 108 meters with OB on the right, left uh, and long of the basket. Um, this is another one you really want to pick up with a stiff uh, tailwind. Yes, going with a zone. Looking great. Just basing it. Yeah, he's not going to have to worry about that raised basket. A little bit short there. He's going to have to work for it. Honestly, the wind pattern is like super interesting today because it looks what? like it's dead still. That's so it's just so... Go <laughs> oh... That was so flippy. I can't believe it flipped all the way over. Wow, great shot. Oh, oh this is wide. Work. Yeah, that's... Did it make it? I think it did. It looked like it did. Oh, yeah. it, was, yeah, it was close. It was close to that other OB. <laughs> oh, and now he's close to that long OB as well. <laughs> Jeez. Oof. Just keeping things interesting. Yeah. All right. Wow. Great connection there. Really important putt to keep keep within two of the lead. Thank you. Makes good on the comeback. Yeah, and that's what moving day's for. I mean, really, you just need to keep yourself within striking distance because knowing you got one more hole, or I'm sorry, one more round after this, a lot can happen. Yeah. Really nice birdie there from Yuan. Super pretty flight on that on that putter. Yeah, Elias wondering what it is. The flight was so nice. I'm guessing it's like uh, it could be a Rico, Jota, or Svea or something. Look at these. <laughs> this is my stamp. The entropy, it's a very stable, controllable disc. Very good for short game, very good for forehand up shots, very good for backhand up shots. You can check out my new Team Series disc on the MVP Pro Shop. Hole number 16 now, tight wooded tunnel here to the sweet spot, which is right here. Here you have a dumping righty forehand, lefty backhand into the green. 166 meter par four. 
uh, one of the tougher uh, holes on the course. A very, very specific uh, tee shot. And that's Pjord. What a nice flex right down the middle. Just a little bit short of the sweet spot, but he's for sure going to have something to work with from there. Yalmar needs to miss the last ones. Perfect as well. Textbook from the guy so far. You won. Oh, low all the way, but yeah, I'm fortunate with that last hit there on the rock, but we'll see what he has from there. He might be pinched. He needs to fight. These forehands from Denka look like they're kind of a little forced over to the right a lot today. Yeah. Not what we're used to seeing, but yeah, good good result on the second shot. He's going to have a huge stone in the way for his putt, but he might the have, He might have the angle just right from there to where it has that little window there to the right of the rock. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what he has. I think he's gonna, for sure. He's gonna have obstructed. something. Yeah, I think he's gonna be obstructed, but he's gonna have a putt and he's Denka, so oh. you know he can make everything. I thought we were gonna see that filter through all of them. Yeah, two first two up shots, not really getting it there. That. Yeah. So three great drives, but nobody really hitting the circle here. Long putt from Elias. Oh, oh man, just a little bit high. Let's see if you one can make it. Come on! Oh, close. Oh wow! Yeah, just yeah. too. Super obstructed. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, just laying it up. So Yalmar, here's an opportunity. Nice. nice great putt makes good in another turkey for the guy it's been gobble. super hot on the back gobble gobble yeah no kidding he's only missed hole 13 since what hole 7 so he had 7 pars in a row and now he's only had 1 par since <laughs> since hole 7 crazy the game really be like that sometimes yeah and now he's one back, back to one of, stroke. Yeah, one back of the lead. So, second to last here, 17, 91 meters, par three. You wanna stall a forehand high up in this gap, fade just before that tree on the left to get yourself a putt on this green. Pretty close OB near the pin as well. Yes, you really don't wanna go long. And this is in danger of that. That needed to be higher. Oh, did it crawl? Oh, unfortunate skip. But yeah. So, par at best for Yalmar. And they don't know he's OB. There wasn't any spotter on this hole. This is this has the height for sure. But yeah, maybe a little too high stalled out early. But putting for birdie. Oh, Dang. Yeah, that was kind of early, and you gotta get. You're you're kind of risking those early right side trees. That is early. Yeah, I'm not getting through. Long bid. Oh, and tags metal too. Yeah, close one. So Yadmar for par. He's been so on with the putters today. Yeah. Really. Like the, the misses were really not his fault at all. Yeah. Just a little bit high, like three times and two spit outs. It's like, it's, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> that was, I, wow. I'd, I'd like to see that from his perspective because that yeah. was very tight. It did. Speaking of good putting rounds, Elias also. Very good putting. Uh, 
Could have been. himself that extra stroke, putting that two-stroke buffer going into the last hole as we see Yuan with the birdie as well. Yeah, I'd say with that putt, that was kind of an important putt. You know, within five uh, going into the final round, you kind of still have a shot. But six strokes back, that's kind of hard to to catch someone. So Yeah, but seven down for the round is so far is very good. Yeah, very solid. Um, yeah, here's hole 18. 76 meters, part three, island hole. So um, and a very punishing drop zone. Leah's going grenade. Oh, oh sit, sit, sit. No. How does that skip? No. Oh, just not high enough. I really like the play, too, expecting it to just dig and sit. Yeah. That's got a good distance for it to check up nicely. Yeah, perfect. Perfect little Berg forehand. Yalmar going up and over the left side trees with a slammer. It's looking perfect. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, Let's sit down. It. No. Oh, I thought it was perfect. Oh. Yeah. So miss it. Too soft, he said. Oh, this is overturned. No. And cooked. Wow. Okay, so... Our guy's kind of struggling on this, on this green, or on this hole. See if they can make this. Oh, sit. Oh boy. Yeah, so very hard, hard putt here from the drop zone with Obi so close. Go. Another band hit. Come on, Denka. So quick, too. Yeah! What? <laughs> oh, it took any time. With all of the swagger, too. Oh, Bare man. Barely stands on the drop zone, walks it off as soon as he throws it. Oh, no. Wow. And I remember we were talking about, because we were on the green here watching him tap out, and Yuan actually had that birdie putt for the lead card. No, really? Yeah, so he just missed it by a stroke yeah very very unfortunate he said he was super nervous for that putt so very unfortunate miss to end this round well still, still, at, still at two between Elias and Yalmar yeah and the seven under rounds for three of our guys and minus three for Dennis uh, kind of a slow one for him and uh, yeah, very um, unfortunate ending there with uh, one bogey and four pars in a row. It's really not what you want to do. Let's take a look. It looks like Gustav oh, Dali yeah. and Timu Talkinen. Uh, Timu right? Talkinen, yeah. But Talkinen. minus 12 for Gustav Dali on the, uh, on the day. Yeah, crazy. Well, as always, folks, special thanks to all the tour partners here for the Swedish Disc Golf Pro Tour. Very excited to give you the final round coverage, so stay tuned. Thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. And we will see you for round three of the Lundby Parken Open 2024 final regular series event for the Swedish Pro Tour, stop number six. We say yes.